basically I'll be standing over here with have the big machine that builds up uh, electrical sparks and uh, whole effects like it's building up power. The weight back here, and when the weight drops, it will drop down like that. To get yeah, it's gonna work. It's pretty cool. So this pack is what I want to use. Just make sure it can fit in here. I guess this, that will hold pretty well. Because the purpose of this is not really to seal it. This is just to make sure that it's black all the way around. That way in case some of it shows through, you're not seeing the white. The white would be really obvious. The black if it showed through a little bit at night through the grass skirts will not be so bad. Right. I have four of these on here now before I put the fifth and sixth one on. I'm just going to finish taping these off. Hat going here. So we have the hat. Inside the hat will go this ring like this. That will hang like that. And these will tie off to the next one. So I'll tie off to there somewhere, and then that will tie into the next one. So it'll be, since the whole pile of rings will come up like this, until you get to full length. There, right there, that's where I want it. Tie that tight. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Try to keep this one right about here. And then, so this goes in the hat like that. All right, and they just started putting these out because this is the um, uh, second week of April, almost mid-April. These are the coolest sort of things from the Dollar Tree. I got um, four of the shorter ones, and eight or nine of the longer ones, which are basically that long. And so that's what we made the Cousin Nick costume out of last year. And again, this is like string. Same kind of twine, but... I mean, look how well that blends. I mean, it's basically, it's the same thing. Essentially, this is going to require a lot of tying off. This is probably just going to take some time. It's going to have to use a lot of twine, essentially. You know, over here it ties off, there it ties off, and just goes all the way around to the disc. So it's going to take a couple of these skirts, like each one of these rings. See, and it's going to have to be done like every, basically every inch or so. With any less, you're going to get weird gaps are going to sag and it's not going to look right. Like I'm going to have all these little pieces left. Maybe I can sell them as individual st stringettes for remembering. You tie them around your finger? Oh, I could make a lot of money that way, couldn't I? And then this will be actually secured once that's wrapped around. This will be secured inside the hat. Alright, so it's starting to come along. The concept is there. I'm going to turn the camera off for now. Probably go work on this while I watch some Ghoulie or something. And I'll come back with the camera in a little bit. So this gives you the concept of what's going to happen. It'll be laying like this. Imagine there'd be some other, like a pile of hay or something. So it looks like it's laying on top of that. And then there will be a piece underneath that the pole will magically push up like this to make the whole thing rise. This is three pieces of these skirts. There's one two and then the third one so they this is the smaller one some of the skirts are like that long they're the same price as the dollar tree they're still a dollar and a quarter whether they're that long or that long but i figured for the first one it might look best or more even to have the first one this size so this is three i'll just i got four of the little ones i'm gonna wrap one more around that way so my next step is i want to attach this ring then to this one kind of same way these are Yeah, that's cool. Probably risk it by saying it, pointing it out, but so far I've been really good at pulling this stuff really taut on each knot. You can kind of feel it get tauter and tauter and like it's getting into that point where it's really tight. And then by pulling it that way, so far it's not broken it. By pulling. See, what did I say? What did I say? What, what did I say? As soon as I say something, 
there all of a sudden. As soon as you speak it, you screw it up. God. All right. I'm gonna go get tape for that actually. All right, put some duct tape on this. Tying these pieces on, I went about every inch, maybe inch and a half, something like that, and would tie one off. And each same, I'm doing the same thing here, I'm tying it off. You know, multiple, at least four ties, or four knots, you know, at, at each point. So I have two more. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. So it lays here like this on a pile of a box of hay or something that looks like a box of hay. But that has a mechanism underneath the lever, basically just a hole. You can have them here and just go up like that. Now, what I need to do is start putting um, the skirts on here. So, and then we'll come back and do the next rings. These are the ones that are a little bit longer. Um, the first batch I put on is made about that long. That side, here, 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 here. Other side of that time. I gotta do at least three more of these. Look up later though. But I'm gonna turn the camera off. See you in a bit. Alright, so I just finished putting on one skirt here on this one. So that goes up to here. But it takes three two skirts. More like maybe just over two skirts to go all the way around. One. I want to do it four times all the way. This one certainly goes down all the way once. So I'm probably going to end up putting eight of those on the second one. But the idea is now this and the pole would stay in the middle. You just pop up like that. The mechanism must be I was probably more worried about, you know, keeping this perfectly tight. Um, this is more than fine. This is completely covered up by the layer of, above it. There's, there's, that's not a problem at all. So I don't have to be as uh, ridiculously careful as I was at first. I was running out of this, and it's getting more low. But this color, it's not quite as thick, but only by a tiny bit. But I think it more closely matches color. So I'm going to switch over to using this. Now that I've just used up all the pieces that I've already pretty cut. Here's the problem. I don't know where the end is. I don't know how to find kind it. Of. Your incompetence is becoming most taxing. Ah, oh, there we go. This color absolutely matches the color of the strands much better than this does. But these are still kind of pretty much covered up. So I think this is the best. Every now and then I just kind of pick it up to make sure that I haven't somehow distorted it.
Basically what I'm looking to do is make sure that I haven't tied off something that pulls one of these up and kind of pinches that so the connection pieces are not mm -hmm. So one basically goes about halfway around. And you can see how it's so much thinner there. So I gotta do a few layers. So we open another bag. layer there. It goes all the way around. This is not thick. And as you can see this, I really got to do a few more layers down there. Might be one more ring, I'm not sure. Alright, it's time to get back. I'm gonna go outside and work on it from there. It's a little bit windy right now, but. This is the bottom, so I've got it upside down. But before I flip it over, what I'm doing is making sure that all the pieces that are attached to this larger outer ring are not getting themselves situated so that when I flip it over, they're on the inside. I want them to be on the outside. That way they don't get uh, covered up by the opposite one. Let's see, that should go down. Actually, I think that's pretty good. Put it right there. 